Three words to sum up Alan Turing. Humour. He had an impish, irreverent and infectious sense of humour. Courage. Isolation. He loved to work alone. Reading his scientific papers, it's almost as though the rest of the world, the busy community of human minds working away on the same or related problems, simply did not exist. Turing was determined to do it his way. Three more words? Patriotic. Unconventional. He was uncompromisingly unconventional, and he didn't much care what other people thought about his unusual methods. Genius. Turing's brilliant mind was sparsely furnished, though. He was a Spartan in all things, inner and outer, and he had no time for pleasing decor, soft furnishings, superfluous embellishment, or unnecessary words. To him, what mattered was the truth. Everything else was mere froth. He succeeded where a better furnished, wordier, more ornate mind might have failed. Alan Turing changed the world. What would it have been like to meet him? Turing was tallish, 5 feet 10 inches, and broadly built. He looked strong and fit. You might have mistaken his age, as he always seemed younger than he was. He was good looking, but strange. If you came across him at a party, you'd certainly notice him. In fact, you might ask, who on earth is that? It wasn't just his shabby clothes or dirty fingernails. It was the whole package. Part of it was the unusual noise he made. This has often been described as a stammer, but it wasn't. It was his way of preventing people from interrupting him as he thought about what he was trying to say. Ah, 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 ah. He did it very loudly. If you crossed the room to talk to him, you would probably have found him gauche and rather reserved. He was decidedly la de da but the reserve wasn't standoffishness. He was shy, a man of few words. Polite small talk didn't come easily to him. He might, if he were lucky, smile engagingly, his blue eyes twinkling, and come out with something quirky that made you laugh. If conversation developed, you'd probably find him vivid and funny. He might ask you, in his rather high-pitched voice, whether you think a computer could ever enjoy strawberries and cream, or could make you fall in love with it. Or he might ask if you can say why a face is reversed left to right in a mirror, but not top to bottom.